afternoon guys and welcome to another episode today's not going to be our usual episode going out fishing today i got a delivery of this uh, shimano sustain um c3000 hg the high gear i actually won this in a fishing competition along with a rod which i'll show you later yeah i didn't go out and purchase this we're just going to do a quick unboxing of this reel and i'll show you the rod that i'll pair it up with and my first impressions a shimano sustain c3000 hg meaning high gear um the box is a, just a nice black box i'll give you the i'm sure if you can see this show you the back of the box here and the side of the box with all the uh, technical specifications this isn't going to be a full tech review or anything like that it's just going to be a quick unboxing and my impressions of the actual uh, reel itself so here we go guys this is the tech specs of the side of the box of the sustain c3000 hg hg meaning high gearing um, this is your gear uh, ratio here 601 this is your drag here it's nine kilo drag or 20 pounds this is the weight of the reel 225 grams how many uh, bull bearings within the reel um, and your retrieve rate but just down the bottom here uh, we have how much braid or how much mono you can fit on the reel um, that's pretty much it as far as the box goes okay, I hope you can see that there in the light it just came outdoors so we can unbox this so first up we see the 10 year warranty 10 year warranty then we see the actual diagram, the schematics diagram with the spinning reel manual here itself. If you guys need the diagram, just put that up there for you guys. Uh, these are your washers right here. Okay, now here's the reel itself. Oh, you open this last and we have a Shimano bag so you can put your reel in there nothing else in there thanks Shimano nice we'll put this stuff inside so it doesn't blow away outdoors and this is what we're here to see the main event so let's open this up First impressions. First impressions, very nice. Yeah, it looks great aesthetically. Um, just take off this little protector here. First impressions, well, very smooth, very smooth. Um, it looks great, really. Um, looks really good. Let's have a look at the bail arm. Does engage really well. Really, really solid. You. You're not going to worry about that flicking over when you cast. Goes back, look how far it goes back right there, the bow arm. See the drag? Really nice finish on the drag there. It's all black with gold accents here. Sort of looks like a, um, a mini Stella really, doesn't it? Drag sounds great, wow. Made in Malaysia, the high gear. C3000. I love the uh, the spool design here. Right there, those little ports just to keep the weight down. Looks great, doesn't it? Give you the specs here if you want to have a look at that, guys. You've already seen it up on the box, but yeah, really smooth. The drag system. What I like about the uh, Shimano drag system, it's it's really well fine tune if you do want to release it or tighten it up two clicks this way or a couple of clicks this way you do notice it so you when you are fighting that fish you don't have to go back and forward towards your reel um, adjusting it so you want to adjust it once fine tune that's great because as soon as you do start to release and you start playing with the drag during that fight of the fish and you have a bit of slack in your line you can potentially uh, lose that fish from uh, your hook pulling out because you haven't got that tension there. I don't want to touch it as too much when I am finding a fish. Um, I've got the 3000 because it's the same body as the 2500 and I am a, um, a saltwater fisherman. So I do want that extra capacity within the spool. I do plan to put about 
uh, 15 pound braid on this the 15 pound that i'm going to get the braid i'm going to get it's quite thin the diameter so i'll probably get the same amount of say a 10 pound braid but of a 15 uh 15 pound class uh, just because of the diameter of the braid it will feel the spool the same way as a 10 pound would uh, but yeah so far so good i can't wait to use it i do have some uh braid left over at home so i'm just gonna I'm just going to fill the spool up with 15 pound but yeah first impressions guys really really nice it looks great feels great in your hand it's super light but the integrity of the actual reel itself doesn't feel compromised at all uh, by its lightness um, she might have done a really great job in that regards there trying to reduce that weight but still remain the integrity and the rigidity of the reel itself props to shimano there I did pair it up with this rod by Shimano. It's a Shimano Revolution Inshore series. It's broom spin, you know, I like my broom spins. It's just so much more rewarding catching uh, larger fish on broom rods. I like the challenge. Uh, the sensitivity of a broom rod or a light outfit is, is really great. So, um, so yeah, it's a broom rod. Um, it's a six foot 10, so almost seven foot. It's 2.08 meters, it's a two piece. Um, your lure rating here, it's 1 to 8 grams and it's uh, uh, recommended line is 2 to 5 kilo. There it is there, it's designed by Ian Miller himself uh, for Australian conditions. What other rods do you have in this series? It feels great in the hand. It feels really good with this rod. So yeah guys, um, that concludes today's video. It was just an end unboxing of the Shimano Sustain and this new gear I got and my first impressions. Uh, I just want to say thank you to dinga.com.au. It's a fishing website um, and camping and whatnot. They have plenty of stuff on there. They actually uh, had the comp on. Um, I got first price and that's how I won all this gear. So. Um, check them out. Um, they have free shipping on Australia wide on any single product. I don't know how they do it, but yeah, thanks again, Dinger. Um, appreciate it. Thanks for watching as always. Tight lines, and see you on the next video. Cheers.